Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. So we're gonna random again. We're gonna get Maggie. This is actually really good because my principal problem last time, I got all these bitchin' items. Man, we're on Basement XL again. Second time in a row. Well, we got Basement XL right off the bat. And it, this could be devastating because we need keys. But anyway, my problem in the last run, if you did not see it or, you know, for whatever reason have chosen not to see it, uh, basically, I got all these bitchin' items, but I traded all my health for them in deals with the devil, and eventually it was like, sorry bro, you are super fucking dead. I did make it all the way to the end of the cathedral though, so I mean, there was a positive there at least. But, end of the cathedral is not the end of the chest. So we're gonna try to rectify that with Maggie, you know? Apparently I'm just treating the symptoms, not the actual disease here. The symptoms, of course, being, why don't I have very much health? The disease being like, I gotta take a deal with the devil every single time it comes up. Even if it is incredibly irresponsible of me to do so. Please give me some fucking keys on this floor. Or I am going to bitch endlessly. Can you handle it? I don't know. This is a nice maneuver to get by Gish there. Hey, there's a key. And that's a start. Probably should have not taken the spirit heart just yet. Maybe I should have saved that to see if there was a self-sacrifice room or something. We got Bent Spoon for some homing tears. Is that good? Is it bad? Is this the real life? I don't know. It might just be fantasy. We're not going down this whole road, so don't get too excited yet. Let's see what we got over here now. Spoon is a decent item. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll become nullified once we pick up Mom's knife. That's really because, I mean, I had Brimstone last time. Brimstone worked out fine. It's a great item. But I'm starting to think that, you know, as I get older and more mature in my Isaac game, uh, I think Mom's Knife is the, the preferable item for me, just because of sheer hurting power. But, I'm not gonna, you know, turn on my nose at either of those. That, either that or just awesome random tear effects. I, why am I... Don't fuck with that fly. Just let the fly live, man. He hasn't done anything to you. So let's take out this one and then just start feeding shots in here. Excellent. So... Oh, that was almost kind of close there. We might as well fight the boss while we're here. We're gonna have two bosses, I guess. We might as well fight one of them. So this is gonna give us a cube of meat. The other weird thing about the last run was how I got a cube of meat from Larry Jr. after a reroll, and then managed to get two li oh, fuck. two Super Meat Boys on the first Basement XL. That was very lucky. We probably will not have anything similar to that come up this time, and that's good. You know, because one of our problems was that we didn't get any goddamn health upgrades or damage upgrades, because we were we had Book of Revelations just constantly fighting Horsemen of the Apocalypse the entire time. I mean, that's okay in its own right. Those are easy enemies to fight for the most part. And beyond that, they drop items that allowed me to get to a fourth level Meat Boy. However, however, I would have preferred just like straight up damage upgrades. So let's go fight our second boss here. And not go down to the next floor. That's the important part that I need to remember. So let's continue doing some stuff here with Monstro. Is this the Monstro that can't shoot bullets? If so, this is going to be a tedious fight, but it, oh, it's not. It's just some kind of alternate version of Monstro. He seems maybe a bit slower. A bit more sluggish, but a bit more HP. Who knows? Monstro's A-OK -okay in my books. I would love, uh, not an HP upgrade. Oh, that's so shitty. Uh, not an HP upgrade. I would love, uh, a damage upgrade right now. Because my damage is not super strong. I would also love any kind of tier effect you could possibly give me. Or an excuse to get rid of Yum Heart, actually, might be okay, too. An item I don't necessarily like too much past the first or second floor. Which we are doing right now, so... There we go. You're dead. We get an HP upgrade. That's cool. I mean, we can stack health as Maggie, and hopefully uh, we will run into deals with the devil where we can trade these, you know, maybe for a Guppy's Paw or something like that. Just looking for some extra money here. Yo, man. Times are tough in this economy. I've resorted to crying over poop to figure out if there's money inside. You know what? I am going to play Judgment here. I am going to play the shit out of Judgment. And he's going to give me an HP upgrade. And then I'm going to go to the self-sacrifice room because I'm crazy like that. I don't give a shit. Health up, health up. Full health. Well, that's a good pill, too. So we'll be able to carry this with us. And now we can really abuse one of those uh, spike trap rooms if we want to. But we will see what we come across. Those almost always drop golden chests, which is not good for me in my relative key 
bereftness right now. That might not be uh, a phrase that has ever been uttered by any human being on planet Earth. Key bereftness. It sounds like a, a rapper's... Like a, an affluent rapper. Ill-advised foray. Used to be an oil baron. Now getting into rap. Key bereftness. Alright, at number 691 on the Billboard Hot 1000 this week, it's Key Bereftness with I Pay My Workers. I don't know. Whoa, Quad Shot, that's great. Quad Shot Homing Tears, pretty cool combination I don't think I've ever had before. I Pay My Workers, what a badass song. Ugh. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with lyrics right now in my head. Just, um, just give me a second, give me a second. Those other oil barons are super lazy. They don't even pay their employees. I I don't know. Maybe my own rap career is is the career of which I was speaking. But anyway, quad homing shot. That's pretty cool, right? I would love to actually now at this point just stack tier effects. Mom's knife be damned. I'm okay with this. I mean, quad shot is definitely one of my favorite items. I'm not sure. Still how it affects things from a damage perspective, like if you end up doing one quarter damage per shot, or maybe like one half damage per shot so that it still counts as sort of a damage upgrade. Uh, the answer is I have no fucking idea, so... Or maybe it does one full damage per shot and it's just the greatest item in the history of the Binding of Isaac, but... I like it, and I would love to uh, complement it, that was terrible, with a slowing effect, or a freezing effect, or who knows, just... Intense damage upgrades would be fine, too. I'm at the point right now where I think I can afford to Spend some of my health right now at getting things like the mark the pact. I mean these are items that haven't necessarily been great to me lately Oh, we have no fucking keys But uh, they're items that you know have the potential to stack really well with this setup that we've got right here And of course quad shot mom's knife I think would do like quadruple damage, which would be you know probably very welcome for me as well The problem is tier effects are so rare Whereas Mom's Knife is so common, like, I, you get it from treasure rooms sometimes. I feel like I get Sacrificial Knife more now, which is disappointing because I think that item is actually pretty bad. Uh, but... Ooh, be careful. Oh, yeah, be careful! <laughs> he says be careful shooting at the one that's like three body lengths away and then stands right next to another thing of TNT while he shoots at it. But in any case, we're not wasting Spirit Hearts here, so it don't really matter, does it? Do it. I don't know, I, I got messed up with my conjugation there. Or by word form. Ah, that's terrible. We do not want the hourglass. I mean, it's okay, but we'd rather have Yum Hard right now. You know, gives us a little extra leeway, a little tolerance when it comes to damage that we're taking. Just hoping for something like a... Like a mom's contact or something. A third eye! What would third eye do in this situation? I have no idea. That's the one that normally gives you a triple shot. So who knows, man. Who knows? Well, yes, we are gonna use this. Fuck. C can we get more than one chest out of it? I think the answer is no. Uh, we'll try to get a key to open that bad boy up. That room seems so terrible. Compared to, you know... Stand still. You'll be fine. They'll, they'll all move around you. Oh, this is scary. Wow, apparently, I guess standing still really is just what you do on that room. And we got Blue Baby Soul. This is actually a really good item. This is gonna fly around, basically be a familiar for us. As we fight double blue Gertie Jr. here, all the way across the sky. Should go without saying, I I'm not a huge fan of this boss. Single Gertie Jr. sucks. Double Gertie Jr. sucks. At least they probably have less, uh, yeah, less HP. But hey, we're gonna pick up another HP upgrade here. Cool beans. We're going down to the next floor. We picked up a spirit heart as well. Tons of health. Like, really, I can't even open that. Just an ungodly amount of health. We're gonna hope that somehow we can leverage that into a key sooner or later. Well, there goes that spirit heart. Thank god I didn't have a chance to get too attached to it. Really? There we go. We need more damage. Give us more damage. That's what I desire right now. Everything else, apart from tier effects, can S my D. C all over her T's. I'll just copy all over her t-shirts, you know? I want. I like her t-shirts. I, I want to copy her style. Okay, just B 
be fucking cautious here. Don't like how things are going right now. Well, I do, actually. We have seven hearts. That's a lot. Could go to the shop, but I don't really have the money. But I, I need... I guess I can't really complain about how things are going so far. I'll still find a way to lose this run, probably. With the way I've been playing lately, but... You know, we have a, we have a decent opportunity here. Why is this room so hard now? Some kind of psychology I'm missing? Once I get good items, I start playing worse, because I, I just expect the items to carry me through. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, we got a pill. Pill could be good. Pill was good. The pill goes up, and it's good. Boom goes the dynamite. Okay, Chubb. I fought you like six times in the last two videos. And you continue to piss me off. Blue baby soul, you're, you're firing in the wrong direction, buddy. There we go. Perfect. Now we got you in sync here. In sync like a tearing up my heart karaoke jam. Okay, so we got about, uh, you know, 20% of Chubb's health left. Actually doing some pretty serious damage now. I don't mean to alarm you, but I'm doing some serious damage right now. I'm kind of a big deal. So we got a range upgrade. That's garbage. Uh, we're going to find a treasure room, possibly find some money, use that money to go to the shop, who knows. Well, I guess I killed the turret with cube of meat? Wow, that was good dodging. 270 whatever, maybe we're on 280 by now, videos of the Binding of Isaac still taking ridiculous damage like that. Okay, and this is, uh, tears up, yeah, we'll definitely take that. So even if we did only get a range upgrade from the boss, two tiers upgrades on this floor is pretty substantial. Now if only we could get like a, a rate of fire increase as well. Let's check for the secret room here. I got the bombs to make it happen. Yo girl, I don't mean to brag, but I got the bombs to make it happen. I'm finding secret rooms all day, er day. I need more health to go into that room. But I will probably go into that room. That room makes it sound so menacing. You guys remember in the Sixth Sense with, with Haley Joel Osment, where he gets like locked in that trunk for a while? I don't know what made me think of that. That's a pretty, uh, you know, if you got claustrophobia, I can imagine that's a pretty difficult moment for you to watch. Whatever happened in M Night Shyamalan, anyway? I guess Lady in the Water happened to M Night Shyamalan, and the Village, and every movie he's made. Uh, you know, people don't like signs. I think Signs is a genuinely terrifying movie. I might be alone on that. I realize it's ridiculous. Oh, scapular? I don't know if I really like this either. I really, you know, it's ridiculous that the aliens come to a planet where, you know, it's 80% of it, including the vapor in the air, is composed of something they are deathly allergic to. But in spite of that, if you can ignore that plot hole, not be such a smug bastard for a while. Uh, Signs, I think, is genuinely, genuinely horrifying. That scene where, like, the alien walks by. The kid's birthday party? That's scary, man. Got to me. Uh, I got an idea here. Let's come down here. We got a heart here. That's that's good news. We're gonna try to play, like, both of these blood banks off of one another. Wow. Okay. That was a good start. Well, now we're not, but we can play this one four times. Alright, so we picked up a good deal of money there. We will just get the fuck out of here now. Now we have 15 cents. So, we can go to the shop and potentially buy something or potentially fight greed. Either way, we can also deal with our mob trap room here. Bomb and a spirit heart. Was it worth it? Eh, maybe. Honestly. Spirit heart's a nice touch. What is that? That would be like a 10 cent value at the shop. Ah, uh, you could probably get it for me. <laughs> Not that I buy bombs in the shop with any sort of regularity. Usually that's, uh imprudent use of financial resources. Okay, so we got this going on here. Awesome. Okay, so we got this extra key that we can use to get to the shop now. And then we'll go down to the next floor. Already on the depths, feeling pretty strong about this run, but I would kill my own firstborn child, unborn right now, um, for access to extra damage. We'll take Nun's Habit. 
This is going to be nice in combination with the Yum Heart, of course. And what's this pill? We know this pill. Full health, right? That's pretty good. Uh, we can use this to play the shit out of the blood bank, actually. And pick up even more money, so that's exactly what the fuck we're gonna do. Possibly even pick up another blood bag, that would be pretty cool. Get us up to, like, nine hearts? Yeah, it would be nine hearts. Yeah, so we can just play the bejesus out of this. And also, we're gonna get- oh my god, we can play this, in vi like, forever. If I'm not an idiot about it, because we have Yum Heart as well, so every time we play it twice, we get a Yum Heart back. This- we can just play this forever. Now I need to get an extra half heart because I'm an idiot and just kept playing for a while, but you get the picture. So this is basically just free money. Lots and lots of free money. Might as well just, uh, you know... Thank you, okay. <laughs> And I think that's a speed upgrade as well. So, right, we went from like 2 cents to 37 cents now. That's pretty solid. So I guess we will probably buy that spirit heart now, and maybe everything else in the shop as well. I'm digging this yum heart... Uh... D -d 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 Nun's habit combination. I would love to get another space bar item though. Yeah, so we'll definitely buy that. Might as well buy the bomb as well, but I'm gonna skip out on it, because I have ADHD. That's not true, I shouldn't make light of that situation. You know, ADHD for a lot of people is a real condition. Not just something like OCD that people say that they have when really they just get easily distracted from time to time. It's not cool, man. If you saw my room right now, you would know that I did not have OCD. <laughs> Super messy. Uh, it's not like I'm going around washing my hands 80 times a day or something. But if you are, then I appreciate the mobile views on this while you're, you know, in the bathroom or your closest sink receptacle. So, we'll see what we got in this chest over here. And, yeah, why not? Well, we're here. Extra money. Tons of it, in fact. We're up to 38 cents. Probably not gonna get to use that too often. My guess is that we are gonna run into greed fairly shortly. I didn't even pick up the penny in there. It's not worth my fucking time. That's how I feel about that penny. I can't believe I didn't get that last dodge in there. Took too much damage on this room. Okay, we're gonna blow up that Tinted Rock for sure. And continue to take- the Tinted Rock had a golden chest inside of it. If only I could do the same- okay, well we got one extra key. You know what, we're gonna pop open- no we're not, we're gonna save our keys and go to the shop. Fuck you, golden chests. We're gonna get our D20. I don't know how I feel about that. There's a penny back here, there's a heart, I don't know. We'll wait for some, some rooms with some sick drops. Well, we don't have greed, so we, we should definitely go to the shop. D20, of course, we can use to reroll all of the regular drops on a room. So, for example, I could pick up the Spirit Heart, reroll these two. You got a key in the thumbtack. Now, you can use one of these keys. Pop that open. <laughs> Good use of uh, resources there. So, we're just going to try to get our D6 charged up again, and then we'll use it on another room. Maybe we can pick up some good stuff there. Yum Heart's cool, too. If we come across an arcade, I'll probably go back and get Yum Heart, because obviously, it's basically like a free HP upgrade. Unless we get the IV bag. In, uh, free HP upgrade using um, Yum Heart and Nun's Habit. Well, there's another blood bank. God damn. I said god damn. Uh, we're gonna get our D6, D20 charged first. Just... Oh, shit. I got it, guys. I got the ultimate solution here. So we go, we play the shit out of the blood bank, then we use D20, reroll all of those meaningless pennies, and just bathe ourselves in delicious whatever we get. So, yum hard. We're gonna have to do some backtracking here. It's unfortunate, but this is a beautiful situation. So I hope this thing pays out a hundred times. If it just explodes, that's gonna be shitty, but... If it pays out, my lord. Cobb salads for everybody. No, I... No excuses. Cobb salads for everybody. Might want to pick up the nickels here, but I don't really think it's even that important. Like, I, I already have so much money. Might want to pick up the dimes, okay. I'll, I'll accept that. That's pretty useful. Never know, we might even get to go to two shops in the future, so... Oh man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good! So we're just gonna keep this up until there's like 400 things on the ground. Oh man. I mean, this is a rare combination. Nun's Habit, <clears throat> Yum Heart, Blood Bank, D20. But if you can replicate this in your own game, 
feel good about your chances. This is absurd right now. Again, just I don't even give a shit about the nickels. Give me bombs or keys or trinkets instead. I don't care. Now we're just gonna we have to be a little bit careful because I think we might accidentally run into the tick or something. This is this is good stuff right here. I like that they only fall into a set number of patterns, so we've almost got like a, a weird little I don't know, like almost call it like a diffraction pattern or something showing up here based on where these pennies actually fall. This is insane. I can't wait to see what this actually, you know, results in us getting. Ah, okay, IV bay. Oh man. Okay, well, how do, this isn't gonna work anymore because it won't charge our yum heart. Okay, this is fine. We got a lot of shit there. Oh, I'm excited. I'm licking my lips right now. Uh, I'm not trying to steal either Hannibal Lecter or Michael A.L. Fox's thing there. I could use the IV bag many times, then pop the full health pill, then use the D20, but you know what? We've come far enough. I think it's time for the greatest D20 reroll in history. What are we looking at here anyway? This is like... There's got to be at least 30 things on the ground. Oh my god. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. First off, yeah, let the bombs sort themselves out. So we'll get keys and bombs. I think we're going to have to pick up some of this money, just naturally. Definitely a lot of keys, though. Start popping open some of these chests. I don't think I'm going to be hurting for bombs or keys for the rest of this. We got Wheel of Fortune. There's like so many pills in here. I can't even move around. Just don't get the tick by accident. There's justice, too. We could build up another... <laughs> Okay, let's take keys. Let's take the stuff we know we want. We can pull the Wheel of Fortune down. So much fucking shit over here. Okay. So we got that. What is this card? Emperor takes us directly to the boss. I can't... Maggie's Faith. I don't think I've ever had that before. There's so much stuff here. I can't deal with it. Bloody Penny gives us bombs every... We don't need more bombs. Let's go with Maggie's Faith. Oh, man. Okay. I want this pill and I want those remaining keys. That pill was not good. Oh my god, there's so much fucking shit on the ground here. Okay, Maggie's Faith. Get the key. And we'll save this room as like a bastion of uh, us being able to go back and reroll it. We could spend like the rest of our fucking lives on this floor. Now I have 12 keys. A second ago I had one. Or two, maybe. Uh, 62 cents, 17 bombs. Speed upgrade, that's useful. And yeah, we'll just tool around with this D6 now, or sorry, D20. And we'll come back to that room if ever we need, uh, or whenever we get our charges back, I guess. I have no idea what Maggie's Faith does. Usually those Faith items increase the drop rate of Spirit Hearts. Or give you some kind of blessing so that you, uh, you have a shield if you take too much damage. But in any case, I'm going to be sad to leave this floor. It's a nice little setup we've got for ourselves down there. Or we had for ourselves down there. Oh, we still we still got it. Just a, an unbelievably lucky assortment of items for that exact moment in time, for that exact situation. So, we are going to make our way down to the shop. In fact, you know, it's almost certainly worth it for me to take, like, one damage. Oh my god. I uh, oh fuck that. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not gonna do it again. I'm I'm not gonna spoil it for you. By the way, let's just get this full health pill down here and open that chest. I guess should give us okay. We want we want to take the sun card for sure, but I want this full health pill because we can just play this blood bank again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Do we know what these do? Tears up. So many fucking chests. I I'm gonna be here forever. I want to just burn through some of this shit so I can get it over with. Okay. Alright, that's fine. We want the full health pill back. Seriously, give me the full health pill. Oh my god. We're just. And it, it just multiplies because we get chests and then the chests give us more things to reroll. It's, it's absurd. It's absolutely crazy. Well, we should, like, pretty much be able to play this forever. Actually, let's get Samson's Lock. I think that gives us Rage. This 
This is fucking nonsense. I have no idea what's even happening anymore. But we're just gonna keep doing this. Again, pretty sure... Oh, no! You blew it up! Okay, I don't know what the fuck is happening. We don't want any of this shit, except the Spirit Heart, I guess, and maybe... Oh, no, I got enough tarot cards to last me until the end of fucking time. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave here. I want the Sun card. Give me the... I don't want the... Uh, judgments here? Oh, okay, I don't want the IV bag. Give me the D20. Alright, Judgment. Show me what you fucking got. Okay, thank you for doing that so quickly. We want the Sun card. That's the stars. That's the Emperor. Maybe I've lost it. I don't know. Let's just go with our full health pill. And get the fuck out of this fun house of horror. That was great, but also incredibly overwhelming. Guess I froze these guys with the power of my tactics. So take this. The boss should be yes, right at the very end here. My fucking god, we're finally leaving the depths part one. We're gonna get Gish again. That's good. Slow is gonna scale nicely or synergize nicely with our uh, quad shot here, quad homing shots. I wish it was a slow on our homing shots, but you know this is the best we can do right now. Man, that was some crazy D20 action back there. And yes, I did get. I'm gonna stick with D20 instead of Yum Heart. You, as you can see, can be very useful for us in a variety of situations. Not gonna be as usu useful now moving forwards, but I mean, the full health pill does give us the ability to do that exact same thing at a blood bank one more time. Maybe with a little bit less yield, but still, that was absurd. That was absolutely crazy. Yeah, Satan, what do you want? Give me some. Give me. Give me mom's knife. I, I can take it now. We'll fly. That's fine too. And D20's almost back. Down to the next floor. Deb's part one. That was the... Oh, fuck me. Sideways. Oh, that's the craziest shit. Okay. Look at this. Like, it's not even gambling anymore. We just have to watch... Oh, I didn't want to do that. We just have to watch out for the tick. Look at this. This shit is crazy. I don't even want the nickels. Just re-roll the nickels. I don't care anymore. We have, like, unlimited bomb and key access here. I picked up the nickel, I don't know why. Because we get enough health back just on the rerolls naturally. This thing is gonna pay out eventually. I promise you that. Yeah, we can open that. Oh my fucking god. Here it comes, the, the cycle continues. Okay, we get all this shit. Yes, Justice, might as well fucking show up. Still got a full health. Oh, we got another golden chest out of that? It's fate, right? Oh my god, why did I pay for the flying now? We got spectral T- oh my- Oh, this is crazy! D20, man! Kane's eye. I don't remember if I like that as an item. Luck down? Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Empress is a cool card, but we want to stick with this. There's- there's no fucking escaping this! Everywhere I go, there's just- People want to give me things here. Oh, well. I mean, we, we don't have Mom's Purse. That's unfortunate. Might as well just stick with the Polaroid from now on, I guess. We're already here. Oh, fucking Christ. We could be here for the next 20 years. What is this pill? This pill's good now, right? That's not good. I, I don't understand. What do you want me to do? There's no words on it. So we got this, we got this. Oh, we blew up the blood bank! Yay! We can finally leave this purgatory of awesomeness, admittedly. We're already at 99 cents, why even fucking bother? We gotta get the hell out of here, this is... I'm gonna go insane. I can't believe we got Fate out of that as well. Right after I picked up Spirit of the Night. If you're not familiar, Fate gives you... I'm not sure if Fate gives you Spectral Tears, but it definitely gives you flying... Uh, in addition to an Eternal Heart, so I definitely would not have paid for... Spirit of the Night, whatever, I'm not gonna bother. I uh, definitely would not have paid for Spirit of the Night if I had known that Fate was just around the corner. But I guess that's the power of the D6. Now that's the power of Pine Saw, baby! I'm doing corporate branding now, apparently. Alright, whatever, we're oh, fucking fine. Sure, juice me up. What's this pill now? Two of clubs, doubles our bombs? Sure, 94 bombs, that's alright. 
D20, man. D20, bitch. D, D20, bitch. Okay, so we're just gonna take these dudes out. Hope that the treasure room is, like, here. And then I can just go fight the boss and, like, get the fuck out of this crazy town. Cause shit is going insane. I don't know. I got... It, it's like vanilla ice, man. I got too much too fast. I feel like I'm gonna blow it all. Suge Knight's gonna come here. Yo, motherfucker, give me your 94 bombs. Sign him over or I'll drop you. Reference might be lost. Judging by the fact that most of my demographics, according to YouTube analytics, are... Or most of my uh, audience... <laughs> are sneezy little boys. No, um... Are, are young men between the ages of 13 and 17. You might be like, what's vanilla ice? Can you put it in your Mai Tai? Well, they probably wouldn't drink Mai Tais. I don't know, what do, what do kids drink these days? 13 year old kids? Probably monster energy drinks. I mean, if you're a 13 year old boy, feel free to tell me in the comments. I was drinking vanilla coke back in those days. She was hot as hell. Not vanilla ice, vanilla coke. You put the vanilla ice in your vanilla coke for double vanilla power. I have a feeling Vanilla Ice did a lot of, you know, just regular coke as well. I don't know where I'm going with this shit, to be honest with you. What do we have here? Luck down. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, greed? Yeah, it was kind of to be expected at this point. Please drop, like, nine cents on the ground. I'll re-roll them. I can make my way down to the boss room. Okay, cool. That's, that's fine. I can live with that. I found pills. We got one bomb out of that. Whatever. We already had 95, 96. So, <laughs> this is absurd. This might be an hour-long run, but not a bad hour-long run by any stretch of the imagination. Kind of an insanely good hour-long run. I would love some damage upgrades, though. Tammy's head. Does that beat D20? Almost certainly not. We already know where the secret room is, motherfucker. We have the map. Okay, so we're just gonna make our way... Through to the boss room, we're gonna fight Mom, a fight that I expect is not gonna be all that difficult. Yeah, I know there's a secret room there. Did I not go to it? Who cares? Let's not even go to it. That's how much of a badass I am. I don't need to go to the secret fucking room. You need to go to the secret fucking room. I got the D20, man. So we're just gonna, you know, tool around here. Might take us, you know, another... 35, 40 seconds or so, but Mom is certainly not in a good place right now. And I like the the champion red version of Mom. It's like a nice, easy stroll in the park as long as you can dodge those shots that come out from the sides. Which I can from time to time. Well, that was very easy. We get Tears Upgrade, plus two Spirit Hearts. We get a second version of the Polaroid. I like mine better, to be honest with you. So, let's keep things going here. I wish I had the compass so I could just zoom through these levels. So again, secret room. Might be worth going to if I had my D6 charged. If I, if I reach a dead end, we'll probably go to the secret room. Seriously? Seriously, Diglett? Do something here! Oh my god, okay. Whatever, we're here. Maybe we'll get fetus in a jar or something. We get one up. Okay, that's exactly what we need. Extra power right now. Well, I'm glad we've got it anyway. It smells like a chain reaction to me. Ah, more or less. This smells like a chain reaction to me as well. And it smells good. Two of spades doubles our keys. Wow. We are a, a lucky, lucky Isaac player right now. Die, die. Okay, good. Now, oh, just keep them open spikes, yeah. It's an easy way to do things there. Ah, we chose wisely! Feels good, man. Feels real good. Okay, so we're gonna fight whoever our boss is here. I don't even know what I want at this point in my life. Just, I don't, okay, we're gonna get a second cube of meat. That's cool, extra damage. I can take it. It's a good item. I wonder if I could reroll the scythes from death here. Probably not, that would be pretty crazy. Oh, but alas! We're finally reaching, I think, the beginning of the end of this run, which is nice! It's been a long one, it's been a great one, but... Also, you know, these these runs take it out of you. A lot of stuff going on. At all times. Constantly. 
Alright, well, whatever. Let's d20 the shit. Oh! Ho ho ho! Trying to get a little sneaky with me, game. Let's go, uh, let's go up into the left. You never know. Maybe we'll come across, uh, an angry boss up there by the name of Mom's Heart. We should probably just be using bombs like crazy, because there's no reason for me not to. I mean, I have 96 of them. So, I'm thinking now. I mean, we definitely have enough keys to make good use of the chest. And that's great news for everybody, I think. If only I had the D6 instead of the D20. Because D20 can't reroll the items from the golden chests. I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'll probably try it anyway once we get up there. This is, room is taking me a little bit longer than I thought it would. Give me an attack fly. That would be a baller upgrade right now. That is not an attack fly. Kobe! So we're just gonna, okay, well... D6 is going to get charged a little bit faster. Doing some semi-circular... This is fully circular dodging right now. Okay. You know what? I got 95 bombs. Let's just make that happen. Make everyone's lives a little bit easier. Hopefully, I chose the right direction here. Spectral Tear is making it so easy to actually hit these guys, which is a nice change of pace. Okay. Okay. Alright! That would be awesome if I had Mom's Purse. This is not the right direction. Now, I could get real fucking crazy with the D20 again. But I'm not going to because I want to save this full health pill for the potentiality of me needing it on, um, the boss... Or on the cathedral or, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, so we've gone the wrong direction. I think maybe we're gonna look for the boss bottom right now. I really wish I could take the cancer trinket. That would be incredible for us right now. Not to mince words. But we'll just keep doing what we're doing here. I can't complain. I mean, it would have been nice to pick up Mom's purse. We do have all this money to blow. I'll save this in case we need a D20 reroll. I'm thinking bottom right is where we're gonna find our boss room. Nothing really else keeping me on this floor. I know the secret room's here, I got the map, motherfucker. We have so much redundancy. Fate plus Spirit of the Night. Map plus Spelunker's Helmets. Oh, red patch, again. Item, I... Ah, whatever. Sure. I found pills, let's pop those babies. Uh, we have anything here? Here, Fa, that's actually really good. Extra heart there that we don't need at all. Cool beans. Uh, that was a pretty good secret room for us, actually. Picked up a few spirit hearts. As well as keys that we could not possibly need less. I mean, 99. We, we have run the potential here. If we, if we played that blood bank, we could probably get 99, 99, 99, which would be absurd. Thank God there isn't an achievement for that, because that would be almost impossible to guarantee. I mean, it's easier now with those bicycle cards that give you... Uh, you know, times two bombs, times two money, times two keys, but still very difficult. You have to get to like 50, 49, oh, actually, you'd have to get to 50, yeah. 50, 50, 50 for all of those at least once. Simultaneously. But it's a possibility here, by virtue of the insanity of the D D20. I'm just used to saying D6, you know? It just feels right. It just rolls off the top. Alright, we got Bob's Rotten Head. I don't want this. I already have 95 bombs. 96 bombs, whatever. It didn't mean to offend you, bomb god. Alright, so we're just gonna place bombs like crazy here. Should make this very, very easy for us. Monstro, what are you doing, buddy? I slowed my own bomb somehow. Didn't even know that was possible. Well, let's take some damage here. I'm just kinda having fun with this now at this point. Like, I already know that Monstro has no chance. Like, there's nothing he can do to make his fate change at all. So we're just dropping bombs in here occasionally. That is nice, actually. I mean, the dime is totally worthless. I should have re-rolled it rather than picking it up, but... You know, hindsight's 2020. Duke of Flies. Let's take bets on how long this dude lasts. Who had, uh, two and a half seconds? Right, so we got Chubb now. Again, Chubb should not last very long. This is kind of going slower than I'd imagined it would. Maybe I should just focus on the shots. I mean... Chubb looks like a confused little boy right here. Sorry about that, buddy. 
Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of zombies. Oh, continuous bombs. Okay, that's great, actually, because it's going to kill the zombies for us. And I should just be able to hammer away with some shots now. Easy, easy, easy. I can still, like, health off the screen, which is always nice. Nicely done. And we will go up to the next floor. Where we can't see shit, unfortunately. But we know that is a dead end anyway, so we only have two potential options here. Double or Quad Gish is a pretty easy room with the current setup of items I have. Oh, now we got some options. Okay, well, we survived so far. Half the room's done. I kind of expected to take damage here. Well, we are not going to take damage here, I think. Lucky us. But we've chosen poorly, sadly. <clears throat> with respect to which direction the uh, boss fight would be. But it's all good. Famine is going to get fucking murdered here. Basically, no chance. <clears throat> Sounds like I'm losing my voice, but I, I think I just got something caught in my throat for a second. You know, this has been like 41 minutes of damage upgrade. Nice. Of uninterrupted, like, constant commentary. I'm not even... Oh, man, it's the boss room already. I'm not even joking, by the way. Like, that damage upgrade is super awesome to get right now as we come to, like, the, the end of the cathedral. And if possible, I don't think I'm going to have to use my... Uh, full health pill here. So there's a decent chance we might be able to save that for the blue baby boss fight. In which case, we might have our first chest victory in a long time. I'm in a fucking another world right now when it comes to dodging. I just turn my brain off. It's like that scene in The Hangover where Zach Galifianakis is playing blackjack and he gets all the, like, formulas going in his head. I feel like the fucking Rain Man right now. Man. Okay, so he's about half dead. I can see my health now. I can see my health from here. Shut up, Northern Lion. That's not funny. Keep this up. Okay, so he's about 25% left. Quad shot is sadly homing onto the angel fetuses, which are my low priority targets right now for the most part. Just keep hammering away, doing some doing some solid D there. Doing some solid D. What can I say, ladies? I do like to do the solid D. And if you're doing the D, you might as well do it solid. So let's kill some of these dudes. Excellent. Go to the chest. What's our tarot card? The chariot. Awesome. Probably not worth a D20 there. Here we go. Moment of truth. Maybe we can get some awesome stuff here. Well, strike out. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go down left. Double super lust here. Remember, this full health pill. Awesome. But I, I want to, if possible, save it for our uh, blue baby boss fight. If we have the full health pill and a little bit of health for the blue baby boss fight, I'm pretty sure we're going to be totally fine. That was bad damage on my part. Can't afford to let that happen. Sun card is actually even better. It does damage as well. But what I'm thinking is that we could actually use the sun card like right here. Yeah, figure out where the boss is. Then, okay, I mean, it, it didn't work out too well in this situation because we were already going the right way because apparently I'm the luckiest navigator in history today. But what I was thinking is this would tell us the direction that we needed to go. And then we could just get there faster, thus taking less damage, and then use our full health pill on the boss. So I think we're going to be fine unless we run into the world's most, like, ass-raping room right here. Super Sloth is annoying. Does he rape asses? I mean, maybe in his spare time, but I, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get out of this, uh, you know, tight Ruby Starfruit intact. Just gonna keep backing it up here. One is dead. And then we'll just go fight Blue Baby. I, there's almost no chance that we lose this at this point, I think. Two of diamonds. Okay, well, you know what? Full health pill on the ground. We got one last chance here. Okay, uh, Unicorn Horn. Let's take it. Might as well. I mean, we'll do Poison Touch damage as well when we walk into it. So this should allow us to do some pretty sizable damage. You know, even if it's only 10-20%. It's a nice touch. Basically, just gave us a free 20% on off Blue Baby. This weekend, only at Kroger's. Uh, I'm just gonna stand here and, I mean, I'll tank the shots if they come, but so far he hasn't even really gotten close to me. Ah, there we go. He finally got me. Oh, and this is going to charge Unicorn Horn as well. 
Oh, that's good stuff. I'm sorry, Blue Baby. You are pretty much boned. This has been a great run. I had a lot of fun with it. The D20 stuff got ridiculous, and, and it's just the way I like it sometimes. We got a unicorn horn again. There's so much shit going on. I'm gonna pop my full health pill because I wanna make sure I don't forget to do that and then just die like an idiot. Alright, we got one more Angel Fetus. We are done! That was a really good uh, Binding of Isaac run. Very refreshing, I think. It was like a, a nesty, cool, or a brisk. I don't remember giving this like a post Isaac stretch. Oh, man. Good stuff. Always like a good run like that. So much stuff on the screen sometimes, it was impossible to parse. But in any case, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.